Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we have a video that I didn't expect to be making. Over the course of the past few hours, there has been some interesting division media and news released across a few different channels. And so, I know many of you enjoy staying in the loop as much as I do. You like to hear the fine print about what's going on. So, I figured I would put some of this stuff together and just recap and provide you all with the latest on what we learned about the division too. Just know from the start, the majority of the stuff we're covering here was in relation to the year five celebration for the game, reflecting on the past, the road to get here. But there are a few interesting teases and snippets about what we can potentially expect for the game moving forward. We'll waste no time and get right to it, just know there are links to everything that we're going to be covering in this video down in the description so that if you want to, you can go and watch them in full. All of this stuff was put together quite nicely, so I definitely recommend it. Firstly, we had a vlog this morning released on Massive's YouTube channel from Dory, who is the, from what I can tell, the social media and kind of person who runs this stuff over at Massive, giving us a cool behind the scenes look at some recent happenings at the studio. The first, although not directly involving the division, was this future session that he gave us a brief peek at, and he said that this whole thing was highly controversial confidential. Basically, the entire studio got together to discuss the future plans for Massive. Now, I would imagine this was probably primarily focused on Star Wars Outlaws, that is the next big game that they've got coming out, and you could even see that there was a Stormtrooper helmet placed on the podium. However, I'm sure that there was some level of attention given to things like the Division 2's upcoming Brooklyn DLC, potentially even the Division 3. Actually, I'm quite certain of that, since that is the next major AAA project that Massive will be undertaking. So that's quite fun to think about. Again, just wanted to share that. Dory then gives us a peek at some more internal year five celebrations that they had for the division two including this gathering and presentation that if i'm spotting the back of his head correctly looks like it was moderated or at least spoken on to some degree by julian garrity who is of course the upcoming executive producer for the entire division brain later in 2024 they then also showed off this is pretty fun they had an internal dev descent competition uh where they comprised a few different teams of four to see who could make it the farthest in the roguelike game mode there were a ton of people there that i'm sure have contributed to the game on various degrees Degrees, but some cameos from people we know like Yannick, Daria, George, Drew, some legends. I won't play the full thing, again the link is in the description, but here's some snippets. So that's quite fun, and as always, I think it's neat to get these kind of behind-the-scenes look at what goes on in the day-to-day -day life at Massive. But that was not all. We also then got a surprise tweet this morning saying that in 15 minutes from the time that they were posting it, Ubisoft News was going to be going live with Yannick, who for anyone who does not know is the creative director on The Division 2, to discuss and celebrate The Division 2's fifth anniversary. Now, I want to make very clear, and it's very important to keep in mind, that the Ubisoft News team, they're not developers, nor are they directly on The Division team. They cover the entirety of Ubisoft. Ubisoft's IPs and franchises and all of that. So even in the chat of that stream, there were people that were frustrated by them not addressing or giving updates on the current weapon talents issue or the ongoing connection problems that people are having. I certainly understand the frustration. I want that stuff to be addressed as soon as possible, but just keep in mind that this was truly not the place where that was going to happen because these people have no influence on that nor any knowledge. However, what they did do was they sat down with Yannick for a good 30-40 minutes, primarily reflecting on the past and the road to get here for The Division 2, but there were some talks about the Brooklyn DLC, some Year 6 plans, including a potential tease that Year 6 could be including more content than we originally thought. So I'm going to play a few clips here in succession where they do talk about that. They also talk about, like I said, the road to get here for The Division 2 that I think sums up the journey of the game in this community quite nicely. So I'm going to play all of those and I'll come back at the end for my final thoughts. And uh, Cot Slumped, yes, we, we are taking questions. Um, and then Blu-ray asks, uh, Yannick, when, when is the next DLC? Um, if they, if someone, you know, you mentioned it early on in our stream, uh, but if someone is just tuning in, um, do you mind giving, giving a little bit of an update on, on the future of The Division 2? Yeah, of course. So, yeah, as we said, we have three seasons coming in year six, uh, and the DLC uh, has been announced as part of season three uh, of... Uh, uh, of year six, so it's going to be towards the end of the year. Um, and when we talk here, we talk content year or fiscal year. So that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's after the end of the calendar year. Uh, so yeah, we don't have any date announced yet, but that's going to be towards the end of the, of the sixth year of content, uh, where we're going to be releasing the, the new DLC in Brooklyn. And prior to that, uh, as I mentioned, the, the next, uh, 
I mean, there are, there's a, a couple of things we're working on that we haven't announced yet, but the one we have announced, uh, the big thing we have announced is the, the revamp of the seasons. So this one is going to be uh, coming before that uh, for, for second season. Please don't die. Uh, well, I mean, there's a rogue agent Chris. detected. Sorry. There you go, folks. And yeah, sorry. I mean, you know, would love to discuss chance to be able to equip two exotic weapons at once or, you know, <laughs> talking about opening all apparel caches at one time. Um, we definitely mm -hmm. see these questions. Um, so <laughs> can we get vehicles in the Division 2? I mean, look, there's plenty of vehicles in the Division 2. <laughs> <They're there. laughs> the first two are good ideas. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, Yannick, is there anything to kind of, you know, looking ahead or you know reflecting back on the the fifth anniversary of the division two that you wanted to kind of get into or mention before we kind of uh wrap up your time with us here on the stream well i mean it's just you know it's crazy when you think about it uh especially after everything we went through uh you know with uh, with division two and the, the launch and wallows of new york which were great uh but, you know decision to actually uh uh sunset the game and then the decision to not set sun sunset the game rebuilding a team right. uh restarting the whole production of the game we didn't talk about that but you know to a lot of people in this uh in, that are watching uh, they, they know the story uh mm -hmm. and uh and looking at where we are today celebrating the, the five years of the division the division is thriving today uh you know we're growing we have you know, a lot of players we are doing we're doing good uh, we have a great team and we have uh, we have big plans so it's uh, uh, I would have I, I wouldn't even have dared hoping for this uh, when uh, <laughs> when we when we restarted so it's uh, it's uh, it's really exciting and really humbling also because all of that is you know it sounds cheesy but all of that is really thanks to our players and our community because without their support without their vocal support to you know, show and say how much they love this game and how much they love this brand and how much they want to see it continue uh we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be having this conversation right now so it's uh it's you know i've been part of that community uh for a long time now it's uh, it's been uh, over nine years at massive for me uh yeah, nine years I mean, five division. years from launch does not mean five years from you starting the world of the division right yeah yeah and i mean i i joined before division one shipped so uh and then oh, wow. you know, as, as a community developer so i helped build that community and uh, and see that community how much it's you know it's helped us and it's helped that game uh continue and survive and thrive and and seeing some of the names and the faces in this community that have been with us since i started and some of them before i started uh and seeing those people still so engaged and so uh you know so supportive it's uh it's really humbling and it's uh it's a one-of-a-kind community and i'm just uh, i'm just you know so proud of what we've done with them so no big announcement but just a big message of love all right so there you have it again i wanted to specifically play that clip at the end because i think yannick like i said sums up quite nicely the road that we've taken to get here for the division two and just how influential the community truly was in keeping the game alive and reverting ubisoft's original decision to sunset at the game after season four we've talked about that a ton before but it cannot be understated just how monumental i think that was and especially the kind of plans and content that we're getting now in light of that was of how that was the situation you know not that long ago but anyway i think the main thing that people are going to have questions about and want to talk about is his talks about year six now, I do not want to pull and extract too much from this because, of course, this was a live environment. He was coming up with these answers on the spot. But I do think it's quite notable that when he was asked about it, he said that we have not announced everything that there is, talking about the upcoming plans, but he said that the next thing that people know about or that we've announced is the endgame redesign, which we know is coming in year six, season two, approximately around October of this year. Does this confirm that there are more plans for year six than we know about? No. It does not. Like I said, he was coming up with these answers on the spot. He could have meant something else than he said. However, I do think that there is a good chance that there is more coming to year six than they have potentially led on to. How grand in scope that's going to be, I truly have no idea. However, I do think that this is all kind of leading towards, and we've seen a lot of buzz with Division lately, of course, with the fifth anniversary and everything. I do truly believe that we are going to get a Division Day event very similar to how we did in 2023, probably sometime in April. We'll do further videos soon diving into that specifically, but I do think that they are going to outline 
the entirety of what we're getting in year six beyond just the DLC and the end game redesign. We'll probably get our next big update on the Division Heartland, of course, a release update on the Division Resurgence, maybe even stuff like the movie, all of that. Again, we'll talk about that more soon, but specifically with Yannick's comments that we got today on year six, potentially having more than we thought, I'm definitely quite excited to hear uh, what that all might be. But my friends, that about wraps up everything that we were told today about the Division 2, both, like I said, reflecting on the past, but also seeing some neat glimpses into the future with the future session. They had a massive, of course, a peek into the celebrations they had internally, and Yannick's comments on that surprise stream that they did this morning. I very much hope you all enjoyed the video. As I said, I know that many of you like to stay as much in the loop as I do. So given the swift and surprise nature of all of this stuff coming out this morning, I definitely wanted to put this together to recap you all on what went down. And one final time, the links for the full things for all of this, if you want to check it out, is down in the description, so please do so. But my friends, that is going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed the video and you want to stay up to date on the latest with The Division for things like this and anything else in the future, then be sure to click that subscribe button. I won't let you down. But that's all I've got for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold. Ow.